Welcome to the channel. Not sure if your trades are profitable because of commissions? Just watch this video to the end. Today we'll talk about setting up commissions. This module is accessed through the main menu of the Otis platform. You need to go to the Settings tab and click the Commissions button. The main purpose of this module is to properly account for broker or exchange commissions when displaying your trading statistics. In other words, if the commission line in the statistics window shows zero, it simply means you need to set up your commission settings. Let's see how to do this. The setup process is very simple and intuitive and easy to follow. The idea is that in the commissions window, you need to select the instrument you trade and set the commission amount. For this, you'll find the module's simple functionality useful. At the top, there's a search bar. Enter the ticker or part of it in the field, and Atas will help you quickly find the instrument. At the bottom, there's a field to set a standard commission for all instruments. This is convenient if you have the same flat commission for most instruments. It's better to specify it here right away, and then manually adjust the commissions for individual tickers as needed. Important points. First, you get the commission rates from your broker. Second, the commission is specified for one side of the trade, or a half round. If you make a trade and open a long position in futures, that's considered a half round. If you sell the contract and close the position, that's a full round. Usually brokers list their commission rates on their websites. For example, when trading the Micro E Mini S and P futures, the commission is 60 cents per half round. This is the figure you need to enter in the corresponding field. A question that might come up, how do you set up taker and maker commissions for cryptocurrency trading? Answer. By default, you don't need to do this because in most cryptocurrency exchange connectors, commission information is pulled in automatically. You can find more useful information about commission settings in the knowledge base, as well as in the statistics module overview, where we show what the equity curve looks like with and without commissions. The link to the video is in the description, and that's where we'll end this video. If you still have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Give us a like and thank you for watching.